Do you believe the Bible is absolutely infallible? Do you think the biblical stories reflect real history? By biblical stories, I mean those of the Israelites, and most of all, the notorious story of the Exodus. Since they were revealed as a long line of fulfilled prophecies, every one of the Israelites' stories depended on the next, and thus, if one of them is not true, none of them are. Just about every Bible believer over the last 2,000 years has been played for a fool. For all the Israelite stories, including that of Abraham, Joseph, and Moses, never took place on Egyptian soil. It is time truth slapped us in the face. It is time we woke up from ages of slumber. For Egypt knew no pharaohs nor Israelites. In this video and throughout a series of upcoming episodes, we are going to touch upon some of the points we bring forth in our book, Egypt Knew No Pharaohs Nor Israelites. The book actually sums up the scientific research that has taken me and a group of high-profile scholars many years of hard work to come up with amazing new revelations about the history of ancient Egypt and the so-called Israelites. We have revisited the ancient history of the Near East, re-examined the ancient historical records, including the Egyptian, Assyrian, Babylonian, Akkadian, the ancient Arabian, the Greek, and of course the Hebrew Bible in both its ancient Hebrew version and its Greek one known as the Septuagint Bible. Not to mention that we have also dissected the etymology of the word Pharaoh and painstakingly traced its origin to where it had actually first appeared, ancient Arabia and Yemen. This is not a conspiracy theory. This is a serious investigation conducted by a group of independent researchers who dared venture away from the mainstream perspective of biblical history and Egyptology. After reading the book, you will discover how the ancient history of both Egypt and the so-called Israelites have long been deceitfully tangled up together, where in fact they hardly interacted. In the following episodes, we are going to dig into some of the fake convictions held by Orthodox Egyptologists and Biblical historians. Due to their false and biased premise, the world has so gullibly come to believe that Egypt was the land of the Israelites' exodus and that Palestine their promised land. Amazingly, Egypt was mentioned in the Holy Bible approximately 600 times. On the other hand, do you know how many times Israel or the Israelites were mentioned in the Egyptian records? Only once. Think about that ratio. 600 to 1 and try and find out what it means. We were told that most of the Israelite landmark stories like that of the patriarchs Abraham, Joseph and Moses took place in Egypt. Coupled with the allegation that the Israelites dwelled in Egypt for 400 years, this could only lead to one conclusion. The Israelites must have been quite familiar with all the features and aspects of ancient Egypt, its landscape, its culture, its people, mythology, pantheon of gods, its art, and its buildings and monuments. Ironically, none of that was reflected in the Israelite narrative. 
for crying out loud, the pyramids, one of the wonders of the ancient world, were never mentioned in any of the Israelite stories that had supposedly taken place in Egypt. If you are on a short visit to Egypt, as a tourist or even on a business trip, what is the most iconic site you would be careful not to miss? Of course, it is the pyramids. And I bet you'd love to share your photos there with the world. Most historians and military leaders who came to Egypt from late antiquity onwards, such as Herodotus, Plutarch, Diodorus, Siculus, Strabo, Alexander the Great, and even Napoleon, just couldn't ignore such an ancient wonder. They were all fascinated by the pyramids, and their memories and commentaries about the site somehow marked their visit to Egypt. But when it comes to the Israelites, their Hebrew Bible is totally silent, or better yet, totally unaware of any features of ancient Egyptian culture and architecture, most of all the pyramids. Some biblical apologists often remind me of the fact that the Israelites were slaves, and slaves were not allowed near sacred sites like the pyramids and temples. Only that argument doesn't hold any water. For Abraham, Joseph, and of course Moses, as their stories go, were not slaves. Rather, Joseph and Moses were royal figures, weren't they? Both Moses and Joseph were brought up according to Egyptian royal tradition, and they must have frequented royal sites such as the pyramids, the Sphinx, and the funerary temples. But they never did. The pyramids of Egypt were never mentioned in the Israelite stories. Except maybe in Hollywood films, or if you'd like to think of those ancient wonders as Joseph's grain stores, as the former candidate for president of the US, Ben Carson claimed, or better yet, hallucinated. No matter how hard you look in the Bible, you will never find any mention of the Egyptian landscape, such as the Nile River, nor any of the Egyptian deities such as Osiris and Ra. You will not find any reference to the Egyptian belief in the afterlife. And, of course, you will not stumble on any mention or alluding to the pyramids, the Sphinx, or any other iconic Egyptian architecture. The reason for that is simply because Egypt knew no pharaohs nor Israelites.